It's been a long time that I've been waiting to make a video in a real Munich beer hall. That's what you see behind me. Americans might recognize that brand as the Lowenbrau beer brand from the 70s and 80s TV commercials. Now that wasn't the real stuff. That was an Americanized version of this long-standing uh, German beer mark, they would call it, and pronounced a little bit differently as Löwenbräu or Lion's Brew. So, we're going to get a chance to take a look at the beer, at all the traditional food they've got in there, and we'll see what's going on on Super Bowl Sunday in a real Munich beer hall. Let's take a look. So due to the natural atmosphere of the beer hall, even on a Sunday night, um, it's not going to be possible to shoot most of this video out where most of the people are at. So I've asked them to kind of tuck me back into this little corner here with hopes that uh, you'll be able to maybe hear a little bit of um, the background noise but not have it be overwhelming because it truly is out there. The sound is just bouncing everywhere. So that's the nature of the whole thing. We'll get a look at the beer and the food. And the beer's already arrived. So this is, um, it's known as a mass of beer. I'm not sure if that is, I think it's a liter. And um, they're supposed to fill it up to, there's kind of a line right about here, so they didn't quite get, get there on this one. Uh, and then of course the rest of it is just to accommodate the, the head that would be on there. Um, if I hadn't let it sit for a moment, right? So, and this is kind of how you, you're supposed to hold these because they're, they're quite heavy, so you kind of wrap your, wrap your hand around there and you can see the, um, the handles kind of going around the outside of my hand. <laughs> so that's how that all works. And um, as far as the menu goes, let's see if I can flip this around. So this is a, a portion of the menu, and what I'm going to get is this thing up here, the blue one, which is kind of like um, probably the most traditional thing for, for us to take a look at. There'll be a lot of food, and that is called the um, Schweinshaxe, which is kind of, I guess, like a pig knuckle, probably be the way that you translate that. And um, we'll get a look at that a taste of that, at least I will. So the food has arrived very quickly and I will show you it in a moment. First, we've got this um, paper bag of silverware, so I gotta open that up. Uh, it's definitely got a unique smell to this. Hmm. Let's see, there you go. But gotta get a look at um, this pig knuckle, and then this right here is a, I guess they call it a dumpling, and probably made of different things depending on what kind of dumpling it is, but probably uh, kind of like a potato thing going on there. And then here I'll spin around the uh, pig's knuckles so you can get a better look at that. They've been nice enough here at the Augustiner beer keller to let me get a look around right before they open. And I'm going to sneak back, perhaps, into this large hall here. I don't know if they included this part when they said, take a look around. <laughs> but they were very nice. And uh, as you can see, it's a little dark in here, but just tons and tons of tables and chairs, chandeliers, and uh, there's kind of like a big stage back there, which I can see, you can't see, it's too dark but it's got some kind of big painting, big scene on the back wall of the stage. So let's see what else they've got here, just to kind of get the lay of the land, and then I'm gonna try one of these beers, and hopefully it's gonna be better than the Lohenbräu that we had last night. Hello. 
Guten Morgen. Morgen. So I surprised that guy, but uh, he waved me on. <laughs> this is what this stuff looks like. So they've got these uh, beer decals, and that was originally meant when people were sitting outside, you kind of cover your beer mug with that, keep the uh, bees and everything out of there. So here has arrived. This is the Augustiner. Right. It looks like we got the fill line on this one, right? As opposed to the uh, Leuvenbroy one, which <laughs> was a little short last night. And uh, we do this only because it's very important to document all of these beers in all of these halls. So, roast, servus, and cheers. So that has, it's more distinct than the first uh, try we had at the Leuvenbroi place. I'd almost want to call it a little bit um, like fruity or something like that. We are in a little quiet courtyard for a very important purpose and a very serious one at that. And this is the former site of what was known as the Burger Brau Keller which is uh, very important in German history for two big reasons. The first being that it was the site where Hitler gave a very uh, famous political rally which began uh, what, was, what became known as the Beer Hall Putsch, which was the first attempt of Hitler and the Nazis to take control, in this case, of the Bavarian government with the idea of extending that then to the nation of Germany. And that attempt, which began right here, failed, and Hitler ended up uh, spending time in prison as, on account of that. Now, years later, after Hitler had, had come to power, he would come back here every single year and give a very important speech on this site at the Burgerbrau Keller to commemorate the attempted uh, putsch the first attempt to take power in Germany. And it was here that a man named Georg Elzer had placed a bomb, a big one, and he'd been working night after night, coming to the beer hall each night, having his meal, maybe drinking a little bit of beer, and then when the beer hall would close, he would sneak off into some back rooms where every single night he would carve out and work on the place where he was going to place his bomb. It was only the fact that Hitler ended up, for whatever reason, deciding to leave early on the night of his speech and ending his speech early that Hitler was probably not killed. If you've seen any of the pictures of the aftermath of that bomb going off inside of that beer hall, which was located right here amongst what is today a lot of new construction if you've ever seen pictures of the aftermath of that blast, you would probably conclude that it was only the fact that Hitler had, for whatever reason, decided to catch his train a bit early and leave earlier than expected that um, it was not a successful attempt by one Georg Elzer, who today has a plaque which may go mostly unnoticed um, it is a plaque in the ground right there and it is gray on gray with a little bit of wet today and I will attempt to read to you what it says in the short version with my German which has certainly seen better days. It says at this place 
of the former Burger Brow Keller, Georg Elzer tried to, in November of 1939, tried to assassinate Adolf Hitler and end the National Socialist regime. And skipping ahead a bit, it says that after five and a half years of imprisonment, Elzer was murdered in April of 1945 in the Dachau concentration camp. So Hitler and the Nazis made sure that whatever happened, Elzer would not survive the end of their regime. And um, it's a very important and very serious stop on our beer hall tour of Munich. So here's what things look like in this little area here. And uh, I happen to have been seated next to a very nice gentleman who uh, disapproves of everything, me included. <laughs> so I've had to downsize. I'm waiting right now for the vice versa to, to arrive. White sausages, we might call them. And it's probably, uh, well, perhaps one of the more traditional things that uh, you're gonna find at the beer halls. So let's give it a little time. I'm gonna keep uh, working on my friend over here and his disapproval of my existence. We'll see how that goes. how I can show you the vice versa. In the end, it was when the grumpy guy asked me to watch his beer while he went to take a pee that I knew we'd established some form of trust. And I guess that's what it's all about, the whole beer hall environment. Mixing traditional with something new, known and the unknown, hopefully gaining some perspective and some tolerance of others. <laughs> so, <laughs> and having fun along the way. It would not have been the same without the grumpy guy next to me at the table. <laughs> <laughs>